guys so i'm back real quick let me jump in real quick in this vlog so the footage that i got for my closet tour i didn't necessarily really like how my closet tour had came out and i just didn't really like it and things like i felt like it wasn't you know like cute and stuff you know what i'm saying so i'm just gonna be filming it make it look good on like how i want it to look also really quickly we're going to add more footage into the vlog because I feel like the vlog wasn't okay not to pop into this video real quick but for some reason I keep talking about like a vlog mind you this is not a vlog I thought I was going to do a vlog scrapped it and just basically did a closet tour and then a chit chat at the end of the video so disregard me saying vlog <laughs> closet tour real quick because I feel like this closet tour isn't as popping as the last one that I did when I filmed it so yeah so as you can see I'm gonna step to the side oh ha I kind of want to do like a I don't know like I feel like my titties are like really out but that's okay we're not judging you know what I'm saying like my hair isn't even long enough to cover up my titties, but quickly, let's do a quick outfit of the day real quick. So I can't wait to show y'all. So hold on. All right, so OT, my OOTD for cleaning up my room and like just being able to walk around the house, like my boobs look huge, but that's okay. You know, like it goes with the fit. So I have on, a sports bra that I got off of Amazon to wear around the house, you know, keep it comfortable because here in Washington right now, it's like almost 80 degrees and it's hot for like considerably that's hot for here for Washington. So it was just, mm, we needed something. So I got this sports bra on with these biker shorts. I'm like trying to like put it to where y'all can see. The biker shorts but I have on biker shorts with this got the biker shorts from off of Amazon as well hope fit Amazon then I have on what is it my house slippers these ones these are like the knockoff like celebrity house slippers that you see with those girls that like I don't know I'll put a clip in of like what I'm talking about but these are like knockoffs I got those from Amazon as well. So that's my OOTD real quick. So let's scooch you guys. As we're working on this side of the closet. So basically, I'm let's get to see what, what is it doing. But so my closet is basically streetwear. Like it's just basically streetwear casual. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not like a, like, I'm a girly girl. Like, some of the outfits that you see me on Instagram wearing, it's very girly girl, but, like, a lot of the outfits are straight. But that's really what it is for me. So, basically, my closet is streetwear. And I don't necessarily wear a lot of girly girl things. Like, I have dresses, but they're not girly girl, if you know what I'm saying. Like, they're more, like... I don't know like how do I explain that like I don't know let me pull a piece out like like this dress that I have like I think I'll get like a better picture of it from like off a pretty little thing so you guys can see it's more streetwear but like there's a giant ass slit on the side to you know share some more business hold on dang I'm just like trying to fix my shirt dress it's a t-shirt dress a very thick t-shirt dress but a lot of my dresses aren't like frilly they're more they're like they're not frilly they're more just I don't know how do I say this they're more like streetwear you know what I'm saying like I'll add a clip in of like I'll add a picture in of like what streetwear is or like 
a picture of me of like in streetwear you know what i'm saying so basically my closet is streetwear and i just i just like love that type of fashion it's streetwear 90s that's what it is it is streetwear 90s that's what i wanted to say so basically with my closet it is color coordinated you know what i mean like i have it very color coordinated and also divided back down into more categories like i have sweatshirts t-shirts crop tops and dresses long items um and i have what's the next category i have sweaters and then i have and i have jackets mainly i have like all my shirts and like dresses hung up and then my pants like my pants bottoms or shorts and things are like in a short like a um a draw for like bottoms you know what i mean and then like i have like an underwear bin and then i have a night shirt bin so that's basically what it is how my wardrobe is set up i the other bins like i have the ikea I have the Ikea um, cubes. I brought two. That equals four. Uh, I brought two of them and I just like put my things in them. Like on the bottom rows, I have a bin full of like sheets and bedding, right? Then I have another bin that's full of towels. And then I have another bin that's just like all dedicated to hair products and things and then i have another bin that's like extra blankets for the winter time so that's really how my closet is and then at the top rows i have shoes all going along the top and that's really how my closet is also i want to mention that a lot of the stuff not like the clothes but like the materials to hang the clothes to store the clothes are from ikea and i will make sure in the description box to add what those items are you know what i mean um so like the hangers all of the hangers i brought them from ikea because i feel like ikea has like good sturdy like hangers and i'm not really into like the fabric hangers that like other influencers are into because like i feel like so if you guys look i have shoes all the way at the top okay and then if you look further down in the closet there's hangers and bras in this section then i have t-shirts matching sets uh matching set sweatsuit then i have just sweat shirts and crew necks and hoodies and then if you look in here this is a dr my dress section then i have the shoehorn from ikea because let's be real here um it's kind of difficult sometimes to bend over and put my shoes on because sometimes my back is hurting and I don't understand. I think it comes from like my boobs being really heavy. So that's what it is. Oh, and I just like dead serious just walked off and didn't even explain the shoes. So I have like one pair of heels all the way back there. Like I am not a heel girl. Like, n like I really wouldn't wear heels unless it's for like a special occasion and i was planning on ordering more heels from pretty little thing for my graduation pictures and where am i going to put those so and then if you look here i have all rain boots because it's always raining in seattle washington or just washington and more boots and then my house slippers that for like if i go out you know, they have stones on them, so they're meant for going out. I got those from Fashion Nova. But um, then if you look further down the closet, it's all like my tennis shoes from like the van store. 
So, like, I really just wear Vans a lot, to be 100% honest with you, because I feel like they're more comfortable and they're easy to, like, live in. Oh, yeah, and then my closet has these giant white doors, so my closet is huge. It's, like, it's almost, like, full-length type of closet. Then we come to this side real quick, and there we go. Shoes are on top. Then I have some more dresses, jean material, clothing, like jean jackets and things. Then I have like sweaters, like white sweaters, and then like a nude sweater, obviously. All my sweaters, all of this is sweaters because I'm obsessed with sweaters, with sweaters. Then this part is my jacket collection to stay warm and then I have to flip you guys so I can really show you the cube. Then if you look down here there are my keys, cubicles, extra shoes over there in the corner and Dr. Tails to soak with. This is my underwear bin. This right here holds like all my med- like holds medicine. Um, lotions and like all those things for me to get ready to end the day then that bin is the hair bin uh sheet bin for the bed let's move it down this side real quick and then we come to this cubicle shirts shorts like shorts jeans and other bottoms then if we come down here, extra blankets, towels, important papers. Then uh, if you come to the corner here, this is my laundry bin. So yeah, that's basically my closet tour real quick of what my closet consists of. And I'm pretty proud of like how I basic how I basically worked really hard to get my closet to look the way that it looks and it took me like three years to get to the point of like having a really nice closet and things because I'm very meticulous and picky about what goes in my closet what I usually wear and things and what makes me happy you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't necessarily buy pieces that I'm not happy about. Let me switch you guys back around. I don't necessarily buy pieces that I'm not going to wear or keep around for a long time. I buy stuff that's, like, mainly what fits me and what fits my body type. You know what I mean? Like, I'm a curvy big girl, you know what I mean? And, like, it's that's really how my, like, how I determine what I buy and things and what's going to look good on me and like what's going to make me happy you know and that's really what it is with that and I'm very like meticulous on things I don't want to just buy something just to be you know buying it I want to buy it knowing well I feel like I said I was going to record cleaning my room never did it honestly just cleaned up my room and just sat and watch TV for the rest of the day, to be 100% honest. You know, like I did some work for my job and then I just honestly made me like some pasta and then just sat and watched some more television. And what else did I do? Like basically went to bed at like eight o'clock. You know what I'm saying? I went to bed at eight o'clock at night and then woke up at like 11, stayed up until like 4 a.m had like basically made myself dinner because I chose to not make dinner before I went to sleep. So I was hungry as hell. And then what else did I do? Yeah, I made chicken and rice and then came back in my room, sat and watched an episode of The Good Fight. That's a really good show. And what else did I do? Just played on my phone and went back to sleep and then went to sleep from 4 to 11, which my sleep schedule is jacked up. 
which is kind of not what I really want. So I'm going to get back on track tonight with like sleeping on time because tomorrow morning I'm getting up at 7 in the morning to basically go to the gym. And I also have to do my summer routine tomorrow. So that's the plan. I'm filming that tomorrow. I don't know. I feel like this closet tour slash sit down and just talk is going to be all over the place. It's very confusing because like right now I'm editing the closet tour and I'm like, dang, like, okay, well, I need to do something else, add something more, just sit and have a conversation, I guess, and I can do that. So honestly, I don't even know what to talk about. Oh, I can talk about how, thanks to the people who have subscribed, if you haven't subscribing you're just viewing instead of subscribing please just go ahead and subscribe because i'm feeling good i'm getting back on track with the videos and putting videos up i'm gonna do the summer routine tomorrow get that edited up put it up for the next day then while i'm editing that video i will be doing another true for drink because I saw that a lot of you guys really liked that video and y'all thought it was interesting so we're going to do I think we were gonna do the red cards next the steamy ones because those cards oh my god those were some interesting cards so that's gonna be the next two videos that I just said that I was going to do for you guys because I need to get back in the swing of things of doing like videos and things because I kind of like fell off for a couple of days because college had ended on Friday last week and I'm in the middle of a quarter break you know so we only have one more quarter to like finish getting our associates and that's basically it for that I'm excited because this is my first like college degree and I'm really putting a lot of time and effort in investing in my college experience because I chose to take five years off of going to college because I didn't necessarily want to go to college. I wasn't really like motivated in an honest and God honest truth. I really wasn't motivated to do it because I didn't have people around me like Oh, did you go to school? Did you do this? Do that? You know what I mean? I had to like motivate myself and like to be 100% honest, you need to be able to motivate yourself and not rely on others to motivate you, motivate you to do what you need to be doing. You know what I mean? Like it's good to have like a cheer squad, but you got to make sure that you are ready and willing to do all the work for yourself. And I had to come to that real realization that that's what I needed to do you know and grow up and be an adult and like just get it done because like if you get a college degree like you could do so many more like so much more you can have more doors open you get more opportunities and that's what I really wanted you know like I just wanted those opportunities more doors open for me I will be still going to school to get my um journalism degree and like the next degree that I'm getting for my BA and for my BA and then the I forget what it's called like the minoring in like my major part of my BA is going to be media and communication and then like what I'm minoring in I think I don't know if I'm saying this right but I'm going to get a business degree because I because I want to open a number of businesses and start generational wealth for my you know my future kids and my future grandkids my kids 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 you know what I'm saying like I just want to set that up because not a lot of people talk about how especially within the black community it's not there's a lot of things that aren't really expected of 
expected or pushed towards the black community. They always want us, you know, like struggling and not having it together, you know, and not talking about, oh, setting up generational wealth for your kids because obviously the other groups or communities are doing that. They're setting up generational wealth. They're setting up things for their kids, kids, kids down the road that so they're set for life. You know what I mean? And I want to be able to do that for my own kids, you know? And that's what I noticed and what I picked up on. And I want to be able to do that. So in order for me to do that, I need to honestly just get a degree, get a degree, start my businesses, and also be doing that job, you know what I mean? Even though 75% of the time I will be working for myself and doing like a social media and doing running my businesses you know like I kind of want to work in the corporate world a little bit like just a little bit not a lot just just a little bit I don't want to do do the most <laughs> you know what I mean and I need to figure out which journalism I want to do like I think I may be interested in investigating journalism or just broadcast journalism in general I need to like figure out which route I'm taking because that's something that's important that I need to know and be able to do that I need to be able to do and get set up in things. So that's kind of what I want to be able to do. Then just like have something of my own, something of my, for myself, you know, and like say that, be like Deja, you did it. Like you did it, you executed it, you manifested it, you worked really hard on getting to this point and be really proud of myself for like although I'm gonna get degrees and things I want to make sure that I'm completing something that I know is going to be close and dear to my heart you know what I mean and something that I worked really hard on because I feel like growing up I didn't necessarily feel as motivated with getting things done and now that I'm an adult I feel like dang like I need to get stuff done I need to like get it done now type of situation so that's really what it is for me another thing like what can we talk about like I just want to sit and talk to you guys because I feel like just talking to y'all and like being more relatable and opening up opening up and being more vulnerable is like very key to just life in general because I don't want to like give off this persona that like my life is, you know, picture perfect, Deja is a princess, you know what I'm saying, she gets what she wants type of situation and life isn't like that over here in the lifestyle. I want to give y'all the real, the nitty gritty, hence why I'm like talking to y'all without makeup on or my face on, you know what I'm saying, and looking very like, oh, put together and... You know, like, I just want to come to y'all, like, the real list part I can. You know what I mean? And that's what I that's what I want to do with this channel, honestly, is just be open and honest and just creating a platform for people who don't necessarily feel like they are adequate enough or feel successful enough to be what they really want to be you know just open up and be you be yourself because it all it takes is for you to put that key in that lock to open that door yourself you know and that's what I honestly had to learn myself that I needed to be able to put a key in the lock to open it to my success and how I have achieved things in my life where to the point like I feel like I'm getting like it's like that whole Oprah thing where like she's like she tells people oh you're getting one you're getting one everybody's getting one You know, and I feel like that's how my life is right now because I am working hard and manifesting things that I didn't think my 16 year old self like when I was 16 could do at 25, you know, and I'm working really hard 
on getting myself together and getting my things together and keeping myself motivated and wanting to work hard at it, you know, and that's what I want to do. And I think that's what I need to do. So yeah, I don't know. I think this was like interesting. I feel like when I talk sometimes like it's all over the place and I start out like on point A, somehow end up on point B and somehow ended up all the way on W, back on point A. I don't, when I talk, it's just all over the place and it don't make sense. But that's what it is. Like for me, I'm kind of like an all over the place kind of person, but it gets done though. So that's what it is. And so far, it's just how I am, you know? But I ate, hold on. First things first, we didn't even create an intro, an outro, or anything for this video. We just honestly, I thought I was going to start out with doing a vlog, but then I'm like, I don't want to do a vlog. That's not, because I'm not really doing anything this weekend or doing anything this week. Like, I kind of wish I got footage when I went out last week, but I didn't do that because I wasn't focused on filming anything. I kind of just was honestly being lazy because that's, I was like, I just got done doing a lot for that semester and I'm exhausted. Like that quarter was a lot. Just do, I didn't really want to do anything. You know what I mean? Like I just wanted to just lay here and not have to think, you know, but other than that, we are just doing a closet tour and just a little chit chat honestly and i think that's what the title is gonna be but other than that we will tomorrow be doing a summer routine and a true for drink because i kind of had fun doing the true for drink i thought that was really cool so we're gonna do that and so like let me close this out because I gotta close this out, turn this, like, put this clip in on my computer and film an intro real quick to, like, what was going on. Or I could just, like, have a blank screen and cut in with some words and call it a day. That might be what we have to do for the beginning, so. But let's exit out real quick. Um, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe make sure you are watching all of the videos on the channel and make sure you go follow me on instagram to get more updates on me and updates with what's going on on the lifestyle channel and just subscribe 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 i'm just saying just subscribe but also we are on track to getting to a thousand followers on instagram i'm really proud of that we are almost to 600 we just need 400 more people to follow to reach a thousand and also i was thinking once we reach a thousand subscribers that i was going to do like a 25 dollar gift card to like amazon to Amazon and do that as a giveaway and I was thinking of doing two people so if you are able to you have to do these things you have to be following me on Instagram that's one two you have to be following me on snapchat okay three you have to be subscribed to this channel to get even like somewhat close to being accept accepted for one of the gift cards, okay? And that's it. So if you stayed this long to watch this video and you found out that piece of snippet right there, then you, you did something right. You did something right, cause who's excited for that $25 gift card? Just saying, giving it out, and I will pick two people, and I will be DMing you on Instagram about it, 
And if you don't get back to me within say like 48 hours, I will have to pick a new person for those, for that gift card. So I will also mention the name, the name, like put it somewhere on the screen for the, um, what is it? For the Instagram and things and Instagram name handles, all that on the screen. And yeah. And the winners will also be announced on Instagram and Snapchat. So then that way everybody is in the loop. This will be put on Instagram and Snapchat. So then we can, you know, get people joined in. You know, I don't want to leave anybody out. But just make sure that you are following the channel. You're following me on Instagram. You're following me on Snapchat. Make sure you're doing those three things to get accepted. But other than that, let's close this out real quick because, like, I literally, just, like, started closing it out, then started talking about the contest that I was going to do, and then now we're back. Okay, see what I mean? I saw A, B, C, all the way on W, back to A. So, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you're following on all social medias. Following me on all social medias, point blank, period. And I can't wait to see y'all tomorrow. Bye.